In 2003, I started Mousechip Co. to make games free of a lumbering industry. In 2006, I released my first, The Witch's Yard. It was picked for that year's Independent Games Festival in the category of innovation. In those years, only casual gamers were buying enough downloadable games to support an independent developer. Casual gamers were skittish about point-and-click adventures then. Heck, they were skittish about clicking the right mouse button. I love adventure games and wanted to make one that casual gamers could appreciate. Witch's Yarn is controlled by simply clicking on people or items. The player becomes a director, cueing a focus for each scene of the story. It's been said if you're going to tell a story, tell a good one. I worked for three years writing and inventing puzzles that merge logically with the story. I'm particularly proud of the social and character-oriented puzzles. These puzzles were a new way to learn about the characters or about relationships between them. It was my first game. I made mistakes. Foremost, casual gamers don't like to read. Eh, actually, most gamers don't like to read game story, for which I blame the game industry for its terrible game stories. They've been getting better about that lately, though. And then again, there are some people who just don't like to read books. Not even comic books, if you can believe that. Also, I shouldn't have hid puzzle clues in the narrative. I should have screamed them out of the speaker. Gamers deserve clearly stated clues. However, careful reading will be well rewarded, so there's that. What is The Witch's Yarn now? An elegy for story games, a failed branch of a new game direction? How about this? It was one of the first visual novels created with a Western aesthetic. With one bonus, you can rewind your every decision, every cue, stepwise, allowing you to easily explore different narrative choices. I hope you enjoy exploring The Witch's Yarn. It's a real treat if you love the written word. I'm Keith Nimitz, Principal Developer for Mousechief Co. Thank you.